Lansing Community College is getting ready to welcome new students approved for Governor Whitmer's free community college program. I'm Katie Schroeder and I sat down with LCC Student Engagement Coordinator Mike McGinnis to learn more. For those who don't know, what is Governor's Free College Program? Well, the Michigan Reconnect Program was announced by um, Governor Whitmer and it is uh, a, a program that allows Michigan residents who have uh, established at least a year um, as a Michigan resident and are age 25 and over who do not yet have an associate or bachelor's degree, the opportunity uh, to attend a community college tuition free or at a reduced tuition rate, depending on their specific residency for the school they choose to go to. So uh, in our case at LCC, if someone lives in um, one of our surrounding public school districts, um, that would be considered in district. Um, the Michigan Reconnect program um, would be willing to cover the tuition charges for that individual. Um, there's some other stipulations. A student needs to file their FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. Um, and FAFSA, if a student is Pell eligible, may cover enough to not need Reconnect. So someone might be eligible for Reconnect, they might get accepted into the program, they just might not need the funding from the state if they're eligible for uh, a Pell um, through their FAFSA. So there is a few requirements with filing your FAFSA and things of that nature, uh, but it's a really great program. I know my, myself and my colleagues at LCC are really excited about it and I'm sure uh, most uh, community college employees around the state are excited to um, enhance um, the workforce, you know, by providing high quality education um, through uh, uh, this effort by the governor. Yeah, for sure. So how is it impacting LCC, like financially, um, enrollment? Um, have you seen increases in enrollment thus far? Um, what is that? Well, like? the, the first semester that a student is eligible for Michigan Reconnect would be our summer 2021 semester. And we haven't quite got to registration for that yet. Registration for summer uh, begins towards the end of March. Um, we've definitely seen quite a few uh, emails, um, phone calls, text messages. We're getting a good influx of uh, uh, inquiries related to the program. Um, we just uh, don't have an official number. We don't have a roster from the state of Michigan telling us exactly how many people have identified LCC as their targeted school. Um, I know within the first couple of weeks, overall, there was roughly 30,000 applications processed by the state of Michigan. Uh, and like I said, with summer registration approaching soon, we should soon hopefully get that first report. Um, but I think it'll be uh, a positive uh, in terms of enrollment for us. We've got a ton of great programs to offer people, whether they're, you know, someone who maybe went to college in the past and never completed or someone who uh, just never really thought they could go or should go. Uh, maybe somebody who wants to switch careers now um, in this crazy uh, life we're living in right now with everything going on. Um, so we've got a ton of great opportunities and I think that people will be uh, pleasantly surprised when they find the variety in what they can learn uh, and make a career out of at Lansing Community College. Yeah, and just I know you mentioned some of those opportunities. Um, can you briefly like um describe like maybe some of the fields that this opportunity could lead people into with this two-year degree absolutely um so you know you could come to lcc and you could study business biology accounting marketing um some type of chemistry um, you could also study music music production theater uh economics um, but then you could also go to our health and human services building and become a phlebotomist or a massage therapist, a dental hygienist, a nurse. Um, you could go out to our technical careers building at West Campus and learn how to operate advanced manufacturing equipment, robotics, um, learn how to work on cars, um, do HVAC, learn welding, um, anything um, tech related. You can study to become an electrician. Um, you could go out to our Mason campus and learn how to be an airframe maintenance technician and work on airplanes. Uh, you know, we've got all kinds of great uh, programs um, for students and every single one of them is geared towards getting a student a job. It's not just to get here and get an education. Um, our degrees lead to jobs and a lot of what our um, faculty do is work 
um, specifically a lot in the trades and in the health career programs. Um, they're getting calls all the time from an employer that says, hey, I need someone who is trained in this, this area, this field. Um, and they know that we have a great reputation for students who are uh, leaving LCC ready to work and qualified and trained to work. Um, so it's a great opportunity, you know, to pursue any, you know, I always tell students anything you've ever thought that was possible, you know, now's your, now's your chance, you know, you always wanted to learn how to speak Japanese, come do it at LCC, you know, you always want to learn how to fix things in your own house or fix things, you know, on your car, day to day things that are going to help you in your personal life, come learn that at LCC. So we've got all kinds of great, great opportunities um, for someone, no matter what their interest might be um, in, a, in a college major, so to speak. Yeah. So um, I, I actually went to community college too. Um, okay. okay. I schools. And um, when I think of community college and maybe some people watching this might think of it, they might think of maybe like for 18 year olds, like coming and transitioning. But since this is specifically for 25 and up, what mm -hmm. engagement outside of the classroom, um, what are you doing to to kind of um, encourage that student engagement outside of the classroom for this kind of 25 and up crew? Sure, sure. Well, um, I will say it's that's a difficult subject right now being primarily online, number one, um, but it's important for like-minded students to get to know each other and get to experience things together. Um, so we've talked about creating some kind of events or things to maybe um, have someone who, uh, you know, maybe comes from the same background uh, of working or, you know, maybe they went to a, another college or university together and just didn't know it. Um, just try to bring those people together. Um, you know, we're doing a really good job right now of putting together online resources for students. Um, and, you know, making sure that everything we do on a day to day basis on campus is still accessible online. Um, you know, myself and my um, colleagues on the student engagement team, we're still meeting with people on Zoom almost every single day. Um, I know we have financial aid advisors who are doing financial aid appointments on the phones and, you know, just like this on Zoom, on Skype, on WebEx, whatever. Um, and we're really working to create um, that sense of a feel that someone would get in person. Um, but we also want um, students to know that there's not going to be barriers to them, you know, uh, coming back and, and getting this um, degree or certificate, you know, whether they're 25 or they're 85, you know, there's going to be opportunities for them. And we have a bunch of different resources on campus, whether it's the um, Adult Resource Center or the Office of Student Access, the Learning Commons. We have a, a wonderful academic success coaching program, um, all kind of geared to be what the student needs. So what you need and what the student behind you need might be uh, a complete 360 of each other, uh, but we've got enough services to be able to provide, you know, specifically what you individually need to, to succeed and stay successful. Um, so I think once we know exactly how many reconnect applicants we have, um, one thing I personally would like to try is, it, you know, maybe if we had, you know, a certain number of uh, IT majors or health majors uh, or try to keep them um, together based on sector so they could maybe share that common interest off the bat. Um, but, you know, we're going to just kind of wait and see what the official numbers are and, you um, you know, just keep our resources going and know that whatever a student brings, um, we have something to help them. Yes. And for um, you talk about like helping the students and getting them what they need for people who may have families or other responsibilities. What would you mm -hmm. say to them as far as LCC goes and their flexibility? Well, um, you know, right now it's. Um, we have a couple different online options for students who may have personal life issues, uh, work issues, you know, whatever your commitments are. Um, you can take online classes that meet regularly at a certain day and time if that helps you keep your schedule. Or if you're maybe in a field where you work, you know, eight to five one day and two to 10 the next day and three to 11 the next day and you never really have a set schedule, you may have an, uh, an option to take online classes um, that are kind of self-paced a little bit. Um, you know, we have um, people like I'll say our academic success coaches, for example, who can help a student really manage 
time, you know, look at time management techniques, um, study skills, things like that to make sure that they're looking at, you know, a student might, might come in and say, oh, I can take, you know, eight credits in the summer, no big deal, and not realize summer is a shorter semester, uh, it goes by faster, you still have work, you still have kids, you still have responsibilities in addition to it's the summer, it's nice out, you wanna stay out at night, you wanna go for bike rides, you wanna go for walks, things like that. Um, so really just get down and lay out your schedule and make sure this is gonna work. Um, you know, we've got um, opportunities for morning, afternoon, evening, night classes, um, as well as those online classes. And I would say, you know, if, if you're maybe unsure of how it could work, I would always encourage someone to reach out to me, to one of my colleagues, um, and let us uh, get you uh, hooked up with someone on campus who can really sit down and look at it and say, okay, you might need two classes that's gonna take a big commitment. So here's, here's what it's gonna take. Um, and really put it out there in the beginning because the last thing we would ever want is for someone to rush into it, jump into eight credits, nine credits, 12 credits, um, and not have a good experience. So, you know, like I said earlier, we have students from all different backgrounds with all different kinds of commitments and family activities and other things going on. Um, and we try to make something um, suitable for all of them uh, and make sure that they know they can be successful with us. Yes, and then um, as far as how people can apply for mm -hmm. the Reconnect program or mm -hmm. see more qualifications, where should they go for that? Is there a place on LCC or the governor? Yep. Like. So um, you could do one of two things. You could start, um, you know, I always say if you just go out and Google Michigan Re Reconnect, you'll find it. Um, but on our homepage, lcc.edu, we have a, a, a photo on the front screen that changes, you know, every minute or so to a new picture. And one of them is for Michigan Reconnect. Um, so on our Michigan Reconnect website, um, it lists step by step what a student needs to do um, with a link to the Michigan Reconnect webpage from the state of Michigan. Um, so the first step is to apply with the state of Michigan and assuming you meet all of the qualifications um, that you've been a Michigan resident for at least 12 months, you're 25 or older at the time of application, um, you're a US citizen or an eligible non-citizen, you have a high school diploma, a certificate of completion, or an equivalency certificate, and you have not yet enrolled, or excuse me, not, not yet achieved a bachelor's or an associate degree, you should get almost an instant approval from the state of Michigan. Um, you do select the school that you would wanna go to, uh, indicate LCC on your Michigan Reconnect application. Um, you're then required to file the FAFSA. That is one of the major requirements of the Reconnect program. Um, and then after you do those two things, you start working with the school. So that's when you would reach out to LCC and say, I'm interested in, uh, you know, a, a business degree, a math degree, whatever it might be. Um, I did file my FAFSA. I did apply for the Reconnect program. What do I need to do? Um, and then someone like me or one of my colleagues um, would work with a student on making sure they get um, their admissions uh, information done. They've applied. They've activated their account. Um, they're ready to go and we can start looking at, you know, whether it's orientation or placement testing or whatever might come next for the student. Um, so the, the two big things are apply with the state of Michigan first, file your FAFSA, and then start working on the school part of it. So, you know, whether it's applying to the school or, uh, excuse me, if you're a previous student, um, maybe it's just calling the uh, help desk uh, and getting your old account reactivated, updating your address, phone number, things like that. So um, it's a pretty quick um, application from the state. Um, and then um, you start working with that individual school to take the next step. So for people who may want to take advantage of this opportunity for summer, um, mm -hmm. I know you talked about enrollment earlier, but how, yes. how soon should they get that um, process going and make that decision to take part if they want to be enrolled by um, the summer semester? Well, summer semester uh, registration begins March 29th. So we're, we're quickly approaching that registration day. Classes do not begin until May 17th. So um, there's plenty of time in between when registration opens and classes actually begin. But with summer being a condensed semester, you know, a, a course um, like a, a regular uh, gen ed course that we might have 30 sections of during fall or spring, we may only have 
seven to 10 in the summer. So there's not as many options. Um, we, we have a lot of classes in the summer, um, but I, you know, I always encourage people to do it sooner than later. Um, there may be a, a, a class that you need that fits your schedule perfectly today that has seven open seats. Um, and you may look at it tomorrow and there's you know, zero open seats and two people already ahead of you on the wait list. So um, I always say do it now only because you still have the time to make those adjustments as you go on. You know, you could always, you know, if you registered for two classes and then you worked with a, a, a advisor or a success coach and maybe need to, to back one off, you still have plenty of time to remove that one versus if you start with one or you start with zero and then you try to jump in last minute, it might not be the day and time you want online. It might not be a variety of different things. Um, but uh, definitely give yourself time. You know, you'll file your FAFSA and then you may be required to submit something else based on your FAFSA. We won't know that until we get it. Um, so just things like that, you know, I always like to give time for, but um, you know, there's still a couple weeks before registration opens and then a couple more weeks until uh, classes actually start. Um, but, you know, we're excited about it and we're happy to help out. And I think, um, you know, people will be, uh, delighted to come back and, and get going in whatever degree or certificate they decide to pursue on this. Yeah, and then do you have anything else you'd want any anyone to know that may be watching this or may see this? Yeah, I would just want them to know that, you know, if, if you're 25 or older and you're watching this and you don't have a, a bachelor's or an associate degree, this is your, this is your time, you know, that this is your opportunity. Um, you know, it, it's not that frequent that states will say here we're going to pay for you to go to college um you know it is happening in some other states around the country but you know i encourage everyone to take advantage of it you know if you've ever thought about you know any of the topics i mentioned earlier um or you just want to do it just to do it you know now's your time you know we're here we're excited about it we're ready to help um we're ready to um get people going and get them hooked up with uh, you know, the, the success coach or the uh, resources they need, whatever it is to, to make sure their experience is a good one. Um, but just know there's people like me, my colleagues, um, my uh, counterparts in, in other areas of campus, we're all excited about it and we're ready to make sure that students transition well um, and that they stay successful throughout their time at LCC. For anyone needing information about the Michigan Reconnect program, you can email michiganreconnect at lcc.edu. I'm Katie Schroeder, and thanks for watching Home TV.